So today in GNU Linux series, we are going to learn about SC Linux context. Okay. So basically, security context. Okay. So the first command, the first command which we are going to learn is chcon. So basically, this is something like change context. Okay, so basically, change the security context of a file or a directory. Okay, basically, it uh, it is help to provide access uh, of a for, to a file or directory to different application or different users. Okay, so for example, if I can show you. Okay, so uh, this is an example. Okay, so chcon hyphen r for recursive t http sys context. Okay, so the chcon command is a powerful tool for modifying security context as we have already learned that. So, for example, let's say we have a file uh, which is called document.txt or document, uh, it, it can be a directory also that, that we want to share on web server. Okay. So by default, I uh, like uh, our file in a Linux system is not uh, supported uh, to uh, to be shared in like uh, from from web server. You cannot access a file or a directory uh, uh, in a, in a Linux box. Okay. So using this chcon command, we can enable a uh, um, a file or a directory to be accessed by a web server. Okay, so this command, if you can see here, this one, so this is changing this home user document to be accessed to HTTP sys context underscore t uh, context. So, so this directory basically will be able to accessed by the web server. Okay, so different contexts that are available uh, are this one. So file life underscore t dir can dir underscore t so generic file type okay uh, directory type socket type change directory type okay so these are the different context file okay which uh, which can be implemented on a file or a directory in order to change the context of the file okay so if you want to restore the ac uh, linux context okay so basically you can uh, use this command rest store con hyphen r and the directory name so suppose if you had done some changes or change a context on a specific directory or a file and you like think that it's had it has happened wrongly you can restore it by using this command okay. let's see the next command <clears throat> so second command is run con which is run context okay so it's it's used to run a program with specific sc linux security context okay so it's allow us to specify the security context in which program should be executed okay so for example running a web server with correct sc context suppose you have a web server application installed on a linux system and you want to ensure that it runs with appropriate sc linux context we can run it at run it like this so run con hyphen t http d as a like apache and users has been httpd okay and for this uh, unconfined and uh, there are other options also so uh, for example we can we can see one example so suppose if you want to run a script with different user context different user context we can use it like this okay so sys run con sys log path clean log dot clean log dot sh file so, so this script this script will run as a different user context okay so let's say like for example we have a, a script name clean log dot underscore that needs to write to system log file but your user account does not have permission okay so you suspect the system log context might be inappropriate. Here is how run con the example. Okay. 
Okay, so these were the two SE Linux command uh, which we can use it. So hope you liked it. If you if you want to understand, go through again and again to the slide. Or if you have some doubt, please uh, comment. We'll be and if you like something, please do like, subscribe, and share. Thank you for watching. Have a great time ahead.